Hello there everyone, welcome once again. It's Rocker Jarvis, it's been quite a while for myself personally on this channel, but uh, we're back on this much more for a... Uh, we're going to have a little playthrough of Neo Turf Masters, one of my favourite golf games of all time, and probably up there with being one of the best golf games of all time, you know, arcade style and whatnot. This is being produced by ACA for the Neo Geo SNK, um, basically digital downloads on various formats. It's on the likes of Xbox, Switch, PlayStation 4... I assume that it's on Steam, quite possibly. It's pretty pricey. You're looking at about between £6. I think PS4 is slightly cheaper, about £5.50. £6 to about $10 in the US. Um, and hence the corporation who's released it have left it quite bare bones, really. I mean, you've got a Japanese original version here, English original version. You've got a high score mode where you just play until you lose your lives and a caravan mode where you're playing against five minutes of the time. And you've got two player modes as well, supposedly, but we can never get two players modes working. I mean, as you can see down the bottom right, we've got Dreamcast UK here as well. But um, we're trying to both play it, but we can never do it. It's only one of us. Anyway, we're going to jump into the high score mode. Uh, original mode has the intro and whatnot, and you can choose your character's high score, as we say. is just playing through high score. So let's have a go. Here is the high score mode. It tells you complete scores without using saves. Get game over when you lose. Uh, buttons are configured from the original mode. You can do a screen size filter, but you can't actually do that, funny enough. It says you can, but once you press start, you have to restart the whole bloody game, so it don't work. But anyway, menu mode, as it tells you down there, you can't uh, resume the game when you bring it up, so what's the point? Anyway, here we go. Automatically chooses your character in a minute, as we will see. Neil Deal. Going all quick here. And yeah, high score mode is on the right hand side, as you can see. Once you log a score, it will show you there. And it does go wrong some, sometimes. But yeah, choose your player. I personally always choose the German. Robert Lindel, I believe it is, or Lendl. He's got good driving, good pattern, and the meter goes down quite slow. Some of these other drivers and patterns, especially like even free bars, as you can see down the bottom there, it's, it's hard to do pattern. I find Robert Lindel. Lando, that's it, as the best. Four different courses here, Germany, Japan, Australia, USA, 18 holes each, you start at a certain position, I've got six seconds, I am going to choose my home country, let's go to Germany. Baden, National Golf Course. Anyway, so we're going to do high score mode, so this is when, until I basically lose all my, um, lose all my, what do you call them, R golf shots, I guess, I think you get like two rounds every time you get a birdie, you keep your amount of holes you can continue, if you go over, you lose a hole. If you get one of the challenges, like closer to the pins or longest drive, you gain enough one as well. But let's smash this up. Straight away. Oh, perfect instantly. Should Joe just need a bunker? There we go. Nice and easy. Nice 300 yarder maybe. Yes. Boy! Anyway, yeah, this is released in the about 1992, I believe. Um, in the arcades and on the home consoles. As you know, Hamster Corporation also do... This is the true ACA conversion, whatever you call it. I believe the home console version, not the arcade version, or it might be the other way around. One of the two, I'm sure you can do a bit of read-up about it. Some various other consoles as well, Neo Geo Pocket, come the Pocket version, so it weren't this one, it was the Neo uh, Turf Masters Small, or whatever you call it. But, um, yeah, it was, it was it's still one of my favourite games of all time, golf-based games. It's just such an easy arcade-style game. Yeah, it's always good here. Hole number two shows you where to go on this screen, so it's always a good idea to keep a look at the little green at the top. So as you can see there, we're centre right on a little bump. Got the wind there on the right, one metre forward. Try and smash it so we don't get in the rough. There we go, jump over the bunker as well. Nice 306 yarder. You've got your stance options there at the bottom left as well, so depending on what you press here, as you can see, triggers change the stances. I normally keep mine straight unless I've got trees in the way. Just remember we are on the right hand side if we remember that first screen. Got one meter, 100, 100 yards, so we need to go a little bit, oh I've done that a bit wrong there, should have gone over it a bit. Try and keep it straight, hopefully it'll just roll on the green, let's have a look. Oh is that on the green edge? Yes it is, I may still be able to do that, so we'll have a try. Early on as you can tell here, even though it shows bumps and whatnot, within the first few it's not too bad, it's not too shabby, they don't punish you too much, so hopefully it won't punish me. Let's have a look. Yeah, there we go. But later on, as you get late into later holes, the bumps do affect your putting a lot. But fortunately, here it doesn't. And here, there you go, rest of holes. So I've got three now. If I get over, if I get par or worse, it loses me a, 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 a hole, a remaining hole. If I get birdies, I stick with that each time because you're always using one to gain one. And if you get like a closest to the pin, which this might be possibly, we'll have a look. 
for a longest drive yard one, then you get a, here it is closest to the pin. So that's two meters ninety seven. So back right hand corner. Let's see what we can do. Oh, it's going to be tough because we've got wind pushing down to the bottom left. Uh, I'm not very good at this. My putter wedge hundred and thirty. I'm going to have to put full power. Let's have a go. I'm going to try and keep it not too high because I don't want it to catch the wind. So I'm going to go just a bit lower. Hopefully I don't hit the edge. Let's see. That's a shame. The wind caught it a bit. It's still a good shot. Seven yards. Get this putted for a birdie. Sometimes there as well. You can put a little bit of overpower and it's okay. A little bit of underpower, it's okay. But sometimes if you're a bit too close, obviously the overpower will bounce out. Underpower will not get in. It's again a bit more punishing later on. So yeah, plus three holes now. As you saw there, I used one hole to gain a hole. If I'd got a par there, I'd have lost it. But we're on the third hole now. And you just keep playing high score mode until you basically out of hole attempts. Par 5, 531 yards. So we're at the back right on a little bit of a hill there, as you can tell on the green. So I'm going to try and smash this. I'm going to try. Oh, they've got the trees there. Normally I always hit the trees, and I'll show you now. I will always hit the tree and just fall in front of the bunker. Always happens to me. Which I'm fine with. There you go, hits the trees, but normally it just bounces through. There you go, ever so slightly. That was actually quite lucky, because I normally bounce a bit further than that. I like this because the amount of green in front of us should be about right. So I'll just do a normal 100 yarder. Not too much and just land hopefully just in front of the edge of the green. There we go. So we've got the green there, the rough in front of us. Apologies, the fairway there. The rough in front of us and the green. So what we've got, 100 yards, 96 yards to rest. As you can see, top left hand corner shows how much is left for the pin. And sand wedge club, but we'll see. we can change wedges, etc. But it normally always automatically puts you on the one that will be the best. So let's have a look. Five. I'm going to go just under my 100%. Go ever so slightly to the side as well. Try and bounce in there. And I'm going to make it higher as well so it catches the wind. And that will hopefully spin it ever so slightly. Ah, a bit too hard. In the rough. Okay. This will now, you will now see me losing my shot. So we'll have a quick go. So 12 yards. I'm in the rough, so maybe a bit more than a quarter, because obviously 50% of the 100 will be 50 yards. 25, so maybe we'll just go just ever so slightly. That's too much. I might hit the pin. Nope, far too hard. Okay, anyway. Bad uh, bad par 4 here, so I'll only lose my... Um, I'll only lose one hole. Doesn't matter how many times you lose it, it'll go down. Let's see what we happen. Oh, yes. Okay, so, hole four was a par five. We hit par. But as you can tell now, because we used a hole, we don't gain anything. We just still got to rest one hole. I believe we might lose one. No, we don't. Okay. Don't worry about it. We've still got a rest of holes. So let's keep going. This hole always annoys me because I always go in the water. So I have to purposely do it a bit weaker. So I'm just going to do a weak shot here. Just so I can get quite close to the water, but not too much. So just a nice weak shot. There we go. And hopefully my next shot I'll get on the green. And we'll get a quick birdie in there. What we got? 250, 240. Yeah, I'd say it should be okay. Oh, we have got minus five or like, you know, wind behind us. Okay, I'm going to try and get it just over 100. There you go. And I'm going to try and go a bit low because I don't want it to catch the wind too much. Let's give it a go. Oh, what a shot. Oh, oh, oh. What an effort. What an effort. That would have been a shot and a half. But yeah, when you've got a when you've got a putter right near the edge, it's always awkward. So just wait till it comes back or instantly press it. Like that. And tap in. Oh, I'd have loved if that went in with an eagle. That would have been my uh, probably one of my best shots ever. But there you go, not too bad, good effort. So as you can tell, I kept my one hole up, so I've still got two holes. And we're now on the sixth hole, I believe. Hole number six, yes. So as you can tell there, uh, left-hand side of the green, there's a big gradient there at the back, so you really want to keep to the left. Big bit of wind as well. I mean, Germany's windy today, so hopefully it doesn't push me in the rough too much. I'm going to slightly go to the left in case it does catch the right wind. Let's smash it. Just a little bit under nice. Hopefully it doesn't catch it too much. There we go. That's good. 
Right, so this is where I want to be more on the left hand side of the green because as you saw on that first shot there's a big dip on the right. So I'm going to go quite a bit left and hoping the wind catches me a little bit as well. Let's see what happens. Ah, it's not going to be enough I don't think. Oh, certainly try. Look at that wind. This is going to be tough because that, that, as you can see, see they roll down to a big bit of gradients. Big dip, so that grain also shows you where the well, grain of the grass is going, but it doesn't always affect me personally, I can never tell. I've got a feeling I'm going to have to be that way a bit more. Yeah, let's try this. We'll see what happens. Oh, okay, I'm surprised that was so bad. So it was, the grain did drag me down a bit. I want to go a little bit higher just in case of that little bump. Perfect. Okay, so as you saw there, the grain did drop me, you know, to the bottom left. So I should have kept an eye on that. I was more, I was more um, relying or worrying about the actual dip on the grass of the green. So maybe I should have kept an eye on the uh, the grain itself. Anyway, hole seven, I believe this is. Hole number seven. It's a 565 yard big par five. Centre of the green, just a little bit to the right. Hopefully we'll get there. Just get a normal smash here. This next shot, I believe we've got to be careful of the trees. So we may have to do a bit of a stance different here and try and swing it round. I mean, I probably could just get over those trees. I'm sort of wearing him, but I might not. I think I might try and slice it big time. Just in case. So 239. Let's go like that. Let's put 100% on it or at least over. Oh crap. Okay. Big slice. Big bit of 100%. Nice let's try. Oh, I'll have that. Don't fall down. Ah, that's a shame. It's a good shot and all. Got over the trees around, but hopefully the the uh, grain is not too bad, and that little dip there won't affect me. Grain is a little bit dodgy, so I might just go to this side ever so slightly. And maybe put one onto it, just to try and get up that hill. Yes, I'm pleased with that. Good shot. Oh, got an eagle. I didn't even realise I went for an eagle. It's the f one of the first ever times I've got an eagle in this game. And that helped me a lot. It gave me plus two, as you can tell there. So when you get under your birdie, you get an extra one. Okay. I didn't realise I got an eagle there. I've never got an eagle in this game before. At least not one when I've been recording. Anyway, so let's not cock it up this time. So path three. So as you can tell, right hand side centre, it's on a little bit of a hill. Let's try and get over there and let's have a look. This is a this can be a tough hole because of this big mound in front of us. You can sometimes clip it wrong. So I'm gonna try and go to the left uh, right hand side. So that wind there might move me. Um yeah, I'm going to go one more bit. 163 yards. Got 160 yards with my iron. If I do 100%, that should be okay. But try and get over 100% maybe. Just a little bit. And now make it a bit higher. I want it nice and high to get over that bump. I love that. That's nice. I enjoyed that. Good shot. Should be a nice, simple birdie. Put a bit of extra power just in case that grain. And there we go. Good, 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 good. I did it. But yeah, the other four holes, uh, other four calls you can do. Uh, what we we're choosing Germany. I believe there's Australia, Japan, and where's the other one? Can't remember where the other one was actually. But um, I'm, I'm first place now. Right? But yeah, the four other courses basically all a nice little change as well as you're going along. Different holes, some closer to the ping, some longest drive challenges and whatnot. This is going to be tough. Right, we've got a lot of trees in front of us. I can either try and smash it over this and get past the rough, but I've got a feeling that I might hit that rough. Um, what to do, what to do. I might go this side. A little bit of a slice it ever so slightly to try and get round about where my uh, arrow is, the end of the arrow, in between the two trees. So let's have a quick go. See what happens. That's quite lucky. I wanted it a bit higher up, but I just caught it in time. Right, what have we got here about distance? So 220 with my two iron, 215, a little bit of wind. 
I can't remember where it was on the green. Um, I'll go about there just in case of the wind. Which is only 2 metres, so I might be okay. 215, 220, let's go 100%, just, just under. Let's make it a little bit higher as well, and see what happens. Yeah. Nice. Good shot. Pleased with that. And let's just get straight in. Let's go a little bit just to the right, just in case of the grain. Let it go back on itself. Bang it in, hopefully it doesn't. Oh! Now that's what I was saying, sometimes a little bit later on... A little bit later on, the grain and the gradients of the um, hills and whatnot on the green does affect your ball a bit more. So, as you saw like in the first early ones, I could have gone over with my power. Would have been fine. But now, because I've gone later on, I mean like round hole 10, etc. Uh, there we go. This what We'll have a look. What we got? Where was my eagle? Was that the seventh hole? I think it was. But anyway, so yeah, it, the the green is affected a bit more. So, we're at the bottom, bottom left. Longest drive, great. So, centre, a little bit to the left, but it's on a little bit of a hill. That's going to be tough. Mm, I don't, I'm really not bothered about the longest drive, but I don't want to get in that bunker. And I mean, I've got to really stick to the left hand, because right hand even, because I've got all those trees on the left. Right, I'm just going to hope that this just misses the bunker, doesn't bounce into the next one. No, no, no! Oh, come on. Right, we might be out now. Right, so bunker. I've got to get to the other bunker. Well, over the other bunker. I'm hoping, because it only rolled in, it should be a good shot still. So, I'm going to try and go around about there. 100%, I'm going to try and do it. See what happens. And I need to get it nice. That looks good. Ah, that's a shame. I mean, okay. I don't know how it's going to work. I think I'm going to have to just lip... I mean, third shot out of five. Make this one with... A f I can't go into the big rough there. I'm going to have to just do a little little chip here and onto the green bit. Just so I'm out of it, basically. A little 50 yarder just to get onto the fairway. And pretty much waste my, uh, pretty much lose it now because I won't be getting this on a par five. Oh, I might par. I might still be able to do it. So we'll go. Okay, so we were the bottom left, but we were centre slightly to the left, and it was on that little bit of a hill, weren't we? So 130 yards there, 122 I need. No wind. I'm gonna hopefully just go under the 100 percent. That's a not as much. That's a bit too close, and make it a little bit high. Hopefully it rolls. Come on. That's literally the worst position I could be. Because that's going to be so tough on this little... Oh, God. Right, I'm going to have to go up a bit. It's going to be tough for me, but we'll see what happens. Try and do it one extra just in case. Oh, come on. Oh, well. Yeah, we're over. It's it. It's gone. It's finished. Don't worry about it. One extra just in case as well. Yeah. Oh well. I think that's me done now. I only got to hole 10. Let's have a look. Uh, see. Yeah. Rest of holes none. So that means I'm out on high score mode. But there you go. That was a bit of high score mode for Neo Turf Masters on the Xbox One. Uh, that's released, like I say, by Hamster Corporation, part of their Neo Geo games that they're releasing. But yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh, one of my favourite games, like I say, at least golf style of games. Arcade pick up and play. It's a lot of fun. We can't seem to get two-player working for some reason on this and the likes of Super Sidekick. Let's let's yeah, yeah let's send it across and let's go back to the title screen. But yeah, that was uh, as we say near Turf Masters. We can't get two players to work for some reason, so that's I don't know if that's an error or some sort of problem. We've tried it on both this and Neo Turf Master, uh, sorry this and Super Sidekicks too, but still doesn't work. But either way, it's a lot of fun playing offline yourself. It's it's a game that I've always remembered playing on various other consoles, like the likes of Neo Geo, in the arcades, MAME, etc. as well. And as soon as I saw it come out at the end of last month... Actually, this was one of the first games, I think, Neo Turf Masters. But um, as soon as it came out and I noticed uh, the game, we thought, we've got to get it. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. As I said, this was uh, Neo Turf Masters on Xbox One. This has been Rocco Jarvis for It's Much More. 
I say Dreamcast UK down the bottom, but that's because we were trying to get two players working. Anyway, take it easy. We'll see you in the next one. That's it from me. I'm going to finish off my cup of Rosalie. Take it easy. Bye-bye.